Time for the morning rush, and we start with new details. A man accused of murdering a mother and daughter back in Albuquerque and scheduled for court this afternoon. Jesus Catrejena is accused of fatally stabbing his ex-girlfriend, Shanta Hanish, and her mother, Laura, in Albuquerque. Police say Cartagena turned himself in to El Paso police. He's now being held at MDC. Kristen. Moisture shifting east over the state, so the storm chances will follow. We're now looking at the western half of New Mexico, favor for those afternoon and evening storms. Albuquerque isolated here and even more so as we get into eastern New Mexico. But keep in mind, these storm chances will continue this weekend with spotty to scattered storms over western, central, and northern New Mexico. David? Right now, the Senate is meeting to vote on a bill requiring approval for military strikes. The vote comes amid concerns over rising tensions with Iran. Now, last week, President Trump ordered a strike on the country, then changed his mind. The bill would require the president to get congressional approval before any strike. It likely will not pass. A privately run New Mexico prison could be the first to be taken over by the state by September. The Northeast New Mexico detention facility has been operated by a private firm called Geo Group for the last decade. But a Larry Barker investigation exposed problems tied to understaffing, which led to the most significant inmate uprisings in years. This comment made on a Facebook post by a former city employee has people talking this morning. The photo is of a father and daughter who drowned while crossing the border. Catherine Waite from Albuquerque commented, quote, oh well. The city confirms Waite worked for the Animal Welfare Department. She resigned last April. A single donor really bumping up Santa Fe's fund to aid migrants. Mayor Alan Weber said the city could not take in migrants due to logistical reasons. Instead, he's been asking people to donate clothing and money to help transport the migrants. According to the New Mexican, one single anonymous donor is contributing $150,000. We're still waiting to learn what charges may be filed against the mayor of Las Vegas, New Mexico, and who officials say is her boyfriend. A raid was conducted on her home and office yesterday. A search warrant is revealing that she may have been steering city business to her supposed boyfriend's construction company. This is to line their pockets. Now, she denies any wrongdoing or romantic connection. This morning, APD is asking victims to come forward after another woman says she was targeted by a man accused of exposing himself. Most recently, police say James Chavez touched himself in front of employees at the Tuesday morning store near Coors and Ellison. The most recent victim says Chavez exposed himself to her in February of 2018. Kristen. Today's Metro Threat Index up to a six. We're going to be looking at those spotty to scattered storms possible here in Albuquerque today. Underneath those storms, we could be looking at the risk of flooding with heavy rain. And of course, the lightning. This will continue through the weekend. David? APD and CYFD are testing a new way to handle child neglect and abuse cases. These tests involve uniformed officers being immediately sent on calls that are considered emergency priority one calls based on CYFD criteria. CYFD's reporting center will also continue providing child neglect and abuse reports to APD. The test runs through August. There are now more ways to connect to a new behavioral health group. The New Mexico Crisis and Access Line opened its doors to a new center yesterday. In recent years, calls have nearly doubled due to growing suicide rates, an increase in mental health talk, and resource awareness. Professionals say they can respond to crisis 24-7. Traffic alert for you this morning. The sewer line project along Lead and Broadway continues today and is still causing major delays. The work has caused a standstill for morning drivers trying to squeeze into one lane. The Water Authority says they hope to have the work completed at the intersection by the end of July. However, the work along Broadway will last through September. Looking ahead for you this morning, the Albuquerque Biopark will say goodbye to plastics. They're hoping you'll do the same. All of July, the Biopark will join in on a nationwide campaign aimed at helping the environment. People are encouraged to bring their own utensils and go without asking for a straw. Also happening today, the United States and host country France will go head to head in the quarterfinals of the World Cup. The matchup is expected to bring in big numbers of fans watching at home and attending. The women play this afternoon against France at 1 p.m. You can see that on Fox New Mexico. We wish them good luck. Voting for the United Soccer League's midseason most valuable players still open this morning. New Mexico United's Kevon Freider is one of those nominees. Voting runs through July 3rd. The United play the real monarchs on, on the road on Saturday, July 6th. Kickoff is slated for 8 p.m. Pre-sale tickets for the Mommy Market are on sale today. The event features donated gently used maternity and kids clothing plus baby items. The event takes place at Barron Baptist Church located on Eubank in Montgomery. It's free. It kicks off today and runs through Sunday. Kristen. Time now for a check in your Friday morning commute. Nothing major as far as traffic troubles go. A little bit of slowdown I-40 eastbound, but we do have our news trucker out on I-40 near Rio Grande and seems to be moving pretty close to posted speed. So we'll let you know if that changes throughout the day.
The city of Roswell is putting the finishing touches on their annual UFO festival. This year they are anticipating a crowd of around 20,000 people. Now, last year the UFO festival welcomed about 16,000. The three-day festival launches on July 5th. There. We are taking you back 51 years ago on this day in 1968. It was the first time the Tucumcari Airport reached 109 degrees. They did reach that four times after that, but this was the first time they did that back in 1968. Time for the five facts. At number five, there's still time for you to cast a vote this morning for the United Soccer League's midseason most valuable player. New Mexico United's Kevin Freider is one of the nominees. Voting runs through July 3rd. United plays the Real Monarchs on the road on Saturday, July 6th. Kickoff set for 8 p.m. We wish them good luck. At number four, in just a few days, the Albuquerque Biopark will say goodbye to plastics, and they're hoping that you will too. Now, for the entire month, the Biopark was going to be joining in on a nationwide campaign aimed at helping the environment. It's a plastic free eco challenge that anyone can participate in. People are encouraged to bring their own utensils to restaurants and go without asking for a straw. You can sign up to take part in the Bioparks website. At number three, more scattered storms over western and central New Mexico today, isolated further east. We're going to continue with the north and west being favored for those storm chances over the weekend. Albuquerque with an isolated afternoon storm Saturday, Sunday. High temperatures remaining in those lower 90s. At number two, APD and CYFD are testing a new way to handle child neglect and abuse cases. Both departments have been criticized for their responses to these types of cases in the past. Now, uniformed officers will be immediately sent to emergency priority one calls based on CYFD criteria. Now, CYFD's reporting center will also continue to provide child neglect and abuse reports to APD. The test period runs through August. Number one, and new this morning, the man suspected of murdering his ex-girlfriend and her mother back in Albuquerque this morning. He's set to face a judge this afternoon. Police say Jesus Cartagena and Shanta Hanish had been broken up for several weeks when Shanta and her mother, Laura, a longtime social worker with the Public Defender's Office, were found stabbed to death inside their Knob Hill home. Officials say Cartagena turned himself into El Paso police shortly after driving into Mexico in Shanta's car.